innovations, homes, innovations, homes, innovations. Yeah, yeah, no need to worry about your coping skills. Dealing with emotions is very real. Being sad, angry, frustrated, annoyed. When you wanna shout and scream, you get to make us a noise. When you wanna get away, you should be like me. Don't worry, just call Miss Andy. If you wanna learn all about your self esteem, don't worry, just call Miss Andy. If character building is what you need, don't worry, just call Miss Andy. Home innovation is the place to be. One, two, three. Homes, innovations, homes, innovations, homes, innovations, homes, yeah! Hello everybody and welcome to Character Building with Miss Handy. This week we will be talking about how to cope with anxiety during this COVID-19 pandemic. And what is anxiety? Well, anxiety is the intense feeling of fear or worry. And when you're feeling anxious, you may be constantly thinking of um, things that will be happening to you or to people that you care about or about what's happening outside um, in this world. You may also feel like you can't breathe or you may feel like you're breathing extra heavily. You may feel that your heart is racing really fast. Uh, you may start to feel really tired, um, or you can feel like your hands are really sweaty and your body's really sweaty. There are a lot of um, different feelings you may feel when you're anxious, um, and so those are some of the symptoms you may be feeling. And if you're starting to feel anxious, um, I want to show you some tools that you can use to help calm your mind and your body. And we are just going to make some sensory tools that with things that you can use that are lying around your house. So the next clip, I am going to put a short video of some things that I found around my house that can help you with calming your body. All right, everyone, these are the materials that I use to make the sensory slash calming tools in the character building video. So if you have some tape, uh, some shaving cream, an old sock, a pen, pencil or markers, a Ziploc bag, a jar, it can be any kind of jar, so this can be, um, you know, a jar that you may have cleaned out, or it can be a nice fancy jar like that one. Some rice, some scissors, and paper. All right, let's get started making our sensory tools. Okay, now that you've seen the tools that you will need, I'm just going to give you a little more details on how you can make them and also what it can be used for. So the first one is the shaving cream in a bag. So basically you just open up the bag and you pour the shaving cream in. Um, you don't want to do too much. I did four squirts of the shaving cream and it filled up the bag. So you don't want to use too much because the bag may overfill. Um, but this one you can use to squeeze and it feels really soft and it's also really calming to just squeeze it um, and also smells really good. The next one is the sock with rice. So the sock with the rice in it, you can put it in the microwave for about, I would say, 30 to 40 seconds. And once it's done, you just want to place it on an area in your body where you may be feeling um, anxious or stressed. So sometimes it can be in your shoulder, so you can just put it on your shoulder or on the back of your neck. Um, you can place it on your lower back or on your chest area. And the heat will make, it, make you feel a lot calmer um, and it also feels really good. Or you can squish around, or you can just squish the sock with the rice in it and feel the crunchiness of the rice. Next is the feel-good jar. And I just 
decorated a piece of paper um, and you can make it colorful and you can make it as nice as you want um, and write you don't have to call it the feel good jar you can call it the positive jar whatever you like um, and then once you decorate it you just want to cut up strips of paper like so and you can make the strips of paper longer or bigger I just um, did small ones from my jar and then you want to write something kind on it so uh, for example I wrote on one of mine you are loved and the other one I wrote everything will be okay and so this will help you with you know sometimes when you're feeling anxious you have a lot of negative thinking happening um, also so these um, little strips of paper can just ease your mind about you know everything's okay take some deep breaths you know everything's fine and speaking of deep breaths we did a video on this before um, on how to calm your body using breathing and meditation and that is another way that will really help with anxiety it's just sitting or laying in a comfortable spot and taking some deep breaths in and out you can make sure you're taking them in through your nose for three seconds and out through your mouth for three seconds and you want to do that as many times as you can you don't want to limit the number um, you really just want to do it until your mind and your body is calm and you feel like you can go throughout your day so I will give you an example so you want to breathe in for three seconds like this breathe out for three seconds Breathe in for three seconds. Breathe out. And you just want to do that for um, as long as it takes for you to calm your mind and your body. Another thing that can help you when you're feeling anxious is exercising. Um, you can take a walk or if you feel um, you're too anxious to go outside because you're worried about the pandemic. You can do some exercises in your house, like some jumping jacks or some push-ups um, or even some yoga moves. And there's another video that I did on that that you can check out if you want to learn some yoga moves that will help you. All right, everybody, that is it for character building this week. I hope that you all are staying safe and staying inside and washing your hands. And don't forget to use the tools that I have given you, um, not just in this video, but in the other videos that will help you when you are feeling anxious, sad, or stressed out. All right? Have a good day.